guys a very quick video for you today just as a follow-up from my last video if you watched it on Sunday I believe it was I uploaded a video talking about how I have customized this travelers notebook myself I have turned it to a b6 slim size from a standard size and it's a travelers company camel notebook and it is actually one of my favorites I just think it's patinaed really beautifully and I love the color that it's become and all the character on it and I thought that I would turn it to a b6 slim and just kind of make it more of my own and um, towards the end of the video I said that I was thinking about putting a pocket a secretarial pocket um, on the inside of the travelers notebook at the back and um, so I went to, there's a place in the UK called Timpson and they basically do um, sort of a bit of everything. They cut keys and um, they repair leather shoes and I've seen that they have also repaired like handbags and things like that. So I thought I would take it there and see if they could do it for me. Um, I was expecting that they probably could and that they would charge maybe like 20 something pounds, maybe 30 pounds. Um, I was expecting like a tops of £30 and they did it um, and it cost £5, it cost £5, I couldn't believe it, um, did it say there, yeah, £5, that it was so cheap for them to do. Um, and if you, you might have seen my Instagram story, I didn't keep it up for very long, but basically, um, I'm really chuffed with how it's turned out and I'm going to show you in a second, sorry for the long intro, but, um, it came out a little bit uh, wonky, the stitching on it hasn't been done very well at all really. Um, but I did only pay £5 for it, which is ridiculously cheap. Because if I were to send it to Bam, Bam Kuchen, it would cost about £80 to £100 in total for me to send it there. Um, have it sent back, have the customizations that I want on it. And that is something that I may do in the future with another Travels Notebook. Um, but I just wanted to give it a go. So I will show you what it looks like. So I don't think, I mean, it's it's really not great. It's certainly uh, not perfect, but I don't think it's horrendous. Um, and it's functional. It Obviously, it works as a pocket. Um, I've just got some photos there and um, a negative strip. Um, yeah, so he, I... Um, said can you put the pocket on for me it only took him half an hour to do um he asked me what color stitching i wanted um, and i said if you've got anything matching and he said i've got this dark brown one that was already attached to the machine so i guess it was just easier for him to use that one and i said yeah sure whatever um and i mean this bit isn't so bad at the bottom it's sort of just here where it goes quite wobbly but i don't think it's the end of the world um i like it to be honest um it just looks handmade or hand done however you want to say it um, and nobody can really see it anyway because people would only see the front of it and it's just for holding bits of ephemera in, bits and bobs, things that I want to later put in my journal I hope you can't hear all that banging, one of our neighbours is making a lot of noise outside but um, yeah, the only thing that I was a little bit kind of upset about is twice I said before I left that I wanted the stitching down here and down here and I don't know if you can see but he started to stitch up there there's two stitches, stitch holes there that have gone right through to the leather and I'll show you the back. Um, yeah, it doesn't look bad from the back either actually. I think it's quite funny that the stitching has ended there underneath the <laughs> underneath the rabbit's bum. Um, but you can see on the other side here these two little bumps. Can you see that? Where he has poked holes through when he didn't need to so that's a little bit annoying but um luckily the stamp actually kind of covers it up you can't really tell too much you can now that i've pointed it out obviously but uh yeah so i got the pocket st uh, stitched in and it cost five pounds which is a bargain it's not been done like to perfection um it doesn't bother me that it's like that i know that there are quite a lot of perfectionists out there and that would probably traumatize them i did post a picture of it on one of the facebook groups i can't remember which one it was <laughs> and this girl was like oh my gosh i would get that redone um but if i was to get it redone it would have all the um stitching marks from the wonky stitching marks and i think that would just make it look worse so i'm happy with it it's not perfect but that is 
I mean, if you're into traveller's notebooks, they aren't perfect after time and use anyway because uh, of all the character and scratches and stuff that they get. So yeah, so um, that is it. Uh, I like how it's turned out. I think I will leave it at that in terms of uh, customising. I might get a alphabet leather stamp set and maybe play around with that. I, I've got other leather that I can try out on first, but yeah. That is how it is looking at the moment. Um, I am pleased that I got the pocket done. In hindsight, if I knew it was going to look like that and still only cost £5, I probably still would have just got it done because it's functional, it does the job, and I like it being there. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate all of your support. Thanks, guys. Bye.